Hello everybody. Hello, hello tribe. Yaja here. And in today's video, I just want to take you on a tour around the garden and show you all the varieties of peppers, the hot peppers I have growing in the garden. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is just to show you what is possible. This year, I planted a ton of hot peppers from habaneros to ghost peppers to Carolina reapers, and they are all turning color we are in august today is august the 21st of 2021 and i'm still having huge huge yields of pepper over here i have a mix of ghost peppers and habanero peppers all growing in fabric containers Let's see if we have some ripe ones. Okay. So here, that's a ghost pepper. They're still blooming, producing flowers or blossoming, blossoms. I keep calling them flowers. They are flowers, but they are blossoms. I've been harvesting a lot of ghost peppers. So these are all ghost peppers in containers. They're here where it's not as hot and I don't get as much sunlight and they're doing very well. All in different types of containers. I have some even in containers as small as maybe three gallons and it's still, still doing well. And then here is my New Mexican Big Gym. I've harvested already, but they grow like really, really big. This is a tiny one. So that's New Mexican Big Jim Peppers. And then in these buckets, oh, look at this one. We have habanero peppers. See how yellow they are? So these are habanero peppers. All turning bright, vibrant orange. See the containers that I use for these ones? They're like four gallon containers. And I've been harvesting and harvesting. This is, we're in August now. I put these in containers since March. And I've been harvesting fruit from them since like May. And they're still growing. And here is my compost bin, which I had the bright idea to fill it up with soil and plant water leaves and then more peppers. These peppers, I started these ones from seeds and oh, the habanero and the goose, I did not start from seeds. I started from seedlings, but these ones in here, I started from seeds a little later on in the year and they're just now beginning to produce flowers or blossoms, Oh, which means I might be getting fruit. This one was sent to me, the seed from Cameroon. So this is like Cameroon pepper. So I'm excited to see what I get. No fruit yet. Yeah, okay. And then over here, these are the bags. They are like five of them. I moved them here. These are supposed to be Carolina Reapers, which are currently in the uh, book, Guinness Book of Records as the world's hottest pepper. But from the fruit of it it doesn't really look like carolina reaper so i don't know i don't know if it's because i planted the peppers next to other peppers and they've cross pollinated or something but yeah i had to move them over here so that i don't experience blossom drop and it's doing so well because this is august in houston and it is hot 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 guys so i'm excited because i'm seeing fruit and I started these from seeds around uh, April of this year. That's when I put the seeds uh, and nursed the seeds. And now in August, we're having fruit. Let's keep going. Over here, more peppers in bigger containers. See, this is like, what? Is it 10 or 20? 20 gallon. 20 gallon fabric bag. I put two peppers in this one. 
one and one so because the container is very big the peppers are also very very big as you can see growing wild look at that okay so i have ghost peppers you can always tell ghost peppers from how rough they are and the pointy edge the pointy tip sorry these are ghost peppers again i've been harvesting a lot of the ghost peppers which i planted next to papa's peppers papa's peppers are peppers uh, my father's um peppers uh he grew this in in the village in binka village in cameroon gave me the the um the peppers he gifted me the peppers i decided to plant them and for the first time this year the seeds germinated so these are papa's peppers that are growing next to ghost peppers and what i have been noticing is some cross pollination has taken place and now papa's peppers are extremely hot actually some of them start to look started to look like um, ghost peppers with that rough edge okay the yellow one you see here is also papa's peppers so the species that he gave me two species i get i guess the yellow and the red they all doing well they're still doing well so these are papa's peppers and all what i have along the fence here are my habanero peppers these are the ones i planted in ground so see i've harvested and harvested and harvested and they're still producing i've never been able to harvest peppers like right up to august and they're still producing a lot of fruit a lot of them still to turn color so my habaneros tend to grow really wild when I plant them in ground. And that's why I always place like a cage. As soon as I plant my habaneros, I cage them because they grow wild. I did not, um, I did not cut the tip of the habaneros. That's why they're growing wild like this. See? I've been fighting really hard to keep these habaneros alive with the heat in Houston okay this area gets a massive amount of sunlight during the day it gets like 12 to 14 hours of sunlight right now and those are not good for peppers at all but I've been doing a good job staying on top you did not think we were done right more peppers told you I have at least one two three four five six in this bed right here and these are peppers that my sister-in-law she sent me the seeds from cameroon so these are cameroon peppers she sent them to me many years ago and i was never successful starting them from seeds but this year i put every single seed in the ground and they germinated look so i even have pepper fruit that's peppers from cameroon i'll show you this one this one is turning color Cameroon peppers, blossoms, healthy blossoms that are not dropping. So I'm gonna get fruit. Those are the Cameroon peppers. I even have some over here. Still Cameroon peppers. See, this one is pointing up, which tells me it's a different type of pepper because look, it's pointing up instead of down. So there's one there. That is another one, more peppers. And in my sunken garden, I call this a sunken garden because I had to dig a hole in the ground and bury part of the container. I don't know if you can see this, but this container is like a three gallon container and three quarters of it is buried in the earth, okay? So this is my sunken garden and these are supposed to be red bell peppers, but I never let them turn color because there's an animal that keeps eating on the peppers. I think I saw one just now. This happens. Look, something keeps eating on the peppers. So I've been harvesting them green. And here I also have some of those papa's peppers, the yellow one and the red one. Now I'm not even sure if this is from Cameroon or papa's peppers. I do not know. 
I have so many growing. So there's at least, at least uh, one, two, maybe, yeah, at least seven pepper plants growing right here. Let's see what we got here. Ghost pepper that I left in this 20 gallon container. I've been harvesting and harvesting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of it. Look. That's one there. And now we are almost done, okay? I saved the best for the last. These are Carolina Reapers turning color. My first set to turn color. Look at that. These are the world's hottest peppers. Look at that sharp edge and the rough nature. Extremely, extremely hot, 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 hot pepper. The flavor, flavorful, um, flavorful too, I hear. This means that I have snail issues going on here. These are snails. So yeah, <clears throat> these are ghost pepper, uh, sorry, Carolina Reapers. This is supposed to be Carolina Reaper, but it doesn't look very Carolina Reaper-ish. I don't know sometimes you get seeds and it's mixed up with, with many things so that looks different this is supposed to be carolina reapers but it looks very different so i have what four other peppers growing and contain in the fabric bags here one two three and four i had to move them over here because this area is shaded and again if you get too much sun and too much sunlight and too much heat the pepper blossoms drop so yeah these are my peppers mm -hmm.